Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Monday, November 15th, 2021, and I am Sierra Wells. We are back with another broadcast where we will keep you up to date on activities in Stephenville and the surrounding areas, as well as inform you of news from around the globe. Today, I will be talking about the Tarleton Percussion Ensemble, physical altercation on plane, terrorist threat in UK, and more, all coming up next on Texan TV. In campus news, the Tarleton Percussion Ensemble is today, November 15th at 7.30 p.m. This event will be hosted in the Clyde H. Wells Fine Arts Center. Tickets are $5 or, as always, free with your Tarleton student ID. They will be playing popular pieces like To Walk or Run in West Harlem. The box office opens at 6.30 p.m. All students are encouraged to go out and support this event. If you're interested in this event, more information is available on the Tarleton website. In local news, Cody Lee Lewis, a 34-year-old man from Granbury, Texas, was recently arrested on the Membrino Highway after police found six ounces of marijuana, 106 grams of meth, several MDMA pills, and a 9mm pistol in his car. According to the police report, while being pulled over, Lewis tried to throw his meth out the window of his car and proceeded to resist arrest while being handcuffed. No one was injured during these events, and Lewis is being charged with two counts of manufacturing and delivering a controlled substance, one count of tampering with evidence, one count of a felon in possession of a firearm, one count of possessing marijuana, and one count of resisting arrest. And now today's Texas national and international news from the Associated Press. On November 13th, a funeral was held for 16-year-old Brianna Rodriguez, who died at the Houston Astroworld Music Festival in early November when Travis Scott was performing. The funeral took place in Houston, where more than 250 people attended to honor her life. Since white and pink were Rodriguez's favorite colors, balloons and flowers in those colors were placed around her casket. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee also attended the funeral, where she gave the eulogy and gifted the parents of Rodriguez an American flag that previously flew over Congress. In national news, a woman was arrested on Saturday for punching an Air American Airlines employee at the Dallas Love Field Airport. 32-year-old Ariel Jean Jackson was charged with aggravated assault. The altercation took place after Jackson was asked to exit the plane after an argument with an operations agent in the back of the plane. As she was leaving the plane, she got into another argument with a second operations agent, which turned physical when Jackson struck the agent in the head with a closed fist. The operations agent was then taken to the hospital and released later that day. Jackson is being held at Dallas County Jail with bail set at $10,000. In international news, today authorities in Britain raised the country's threat level to the second highest rung after an explosion left one man dead and another injured. Outside of the Liverpool hospital, a homemade bomb went off in a taxi. Though the motive is unclear right now, investigators are treating the explosion as a terrorist attack. The Joint Terrorism Analysis Center raised the threat level from substantial to severe. Prime Minister Boris Johnson said after the taxi explosion, we will never give in to those who seek to divide us with senseless acts of violence. For more of today's national and international news, we turn to the AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. Almost 200 nations accepted a compromise deal aimed at keeping a key global warming target alive at the UN climate talks, but it contained a last minute change that watered down crucial language about coal. Several countries said they were deeply disappointed by the change promoted by India Saturday to phase down rather than phase out coal power. The Austrian government has ordered a nationwide lockdown for unvaccinated people in an effort to combat rising coronavirus cases and deaths. The lockdown starts Sunday at midnight and is expected to last 10 days. The Italian Coast Guard has rescued more than 550 migrants, many of them young men and boys from Egypt, bringing them safely to shore Sunday. The group was rescued from trafficker boats off the southern Italian coast. And a former Japanese princess who gave up the throne to marry her commoner college sweetheart arrived in New York Sunday. The departure of the former princess Mako and her newlywed husband Kei Kimura was carried live by major Japanese broadcasters as they boarded their plane in Tokyo. Julie Walker, Associated Press with AP News Minute. And now for the weather, we turn to Elizabeth Black. 
Good afternoon, Texans. Today our low is going to be 42 with a high of 80. Throughout the week, temperatures will drop with our lows in the 30s and our highs in the 60s. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a product of the Texan News Service from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us live on AfterG Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 12.30 weekdays. If you live off campus, tune in on Northland Cable Channel 9. You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and check out our website at www.texannews.net for all of your latest local, state, national, and international news. Today's broadcast was produced by the Texan TV staff. Be sure to let us know your thoughts and opinions about today's stories in the comments below. Have a wonderful day, Texans.